Uh, and I think that's where probably I feel that, you know, companies like you are adding a huge value because I think you, you now you understand what the industry needs, right? And you, you kind of closing that gap by really imparting that kind of, you know, I would say experience, right? And then exposure to them and helping them to hone those skills that are necessary for them to be successful. <laughs> Hi guys, so we have a very interesting guest with us today. Uh, his name is Vijay Jambal. He has had more than 20 years of experience and a lot of wisdom comes with all those years of experience. He has had, he's been an HR leader with Gartner, ClearTrail, Clara, Rezo.ai where he's currently the CHRO, right? And he's been hiring, retaining, working with talent and making sure organizations succeed for the last 20 odd years. Also, Vijay recently hired a few of few students from AccuJob in software dev role in Rezo.ai as well. So, in today's conversation, we'll be picking his brains on his experience, his understanding of what he looks at in talent when he's hiring them, how what talent he's found out to be more successful, and his experience hiring from AccuJob as well. So, let's head straight to talk with Vijay. So let's just start with a quick introduction, Vijay. A little bit about you and your journey would be really helpful. Sure. Uh, so look, uh, born and brought up in an armed forces family, uh, been across all different parts of India, right? So, you know, had this kind of an experience of working with all different set of people, right? From each every state, different cultures, right? So that's really kind of helped me a lot in terms of who I am right now, right? In terms of what I do, right? Uh, obviously, I started my journey in actually sales, you know, selling credit cards, debit cards, right, you know, and then kind of moved on to uh, so-called do an MBA because that was the taboo that you wanted to have an MBA for sure to be kind of so-called moving up the ladder, right, uh, and, and, you know, went to do my MBA from Symbiosis, Pune. So in early part of my career, I started working a lot in the whole talent acquisition space, starting from search. Uh, to senior mandates, right? And and tech has been something very closer to my heart. So starting my journey with a boutique a search firm, worked with a lot of senior folks, right? Worked with companies like Global Logic, which was called Indus Logic at that point of in time, Citigroup. I worked in a media space, then had some exposure in education because, you know, got some exposure to work in the ed tech space at that point of in time, right? Way back in 2010, basically, right? And then moved into you know, Gartner, right, which was again, you know, 80, 90 member team in India. And, you know, kind of when I left was 2000 plus people, right. And then some startups that I kind of, you know, picked up in between, right. Got it. Got it. Thanks for that, Vijay. Uh, puts things into perspective, right. So when, when, when you're talking about like a lot of values, which, uh, which sort of you uh, over time gained and sort of imbibed into yourself, right. And uh, I strongly feel like like uh, all of this is sort of uh, all the experience which we collectively have across the years sort of add up slowly and steadily, right? And uh, and your involvement into the tech space has been uh, it, it's intrig intriguing how you think about it, right? That being closer to tech companies, actually some of that tech you start understanding and you start feeling that okay, how can I optimize and make my own uh, processes much more better, right? And uh, okay. So, uh, coming from a talent acquisition uh, background and being uh, being fond of the tech space, right? That is a very very uh, deadly combination in the current market, I would say, because uh, tech hiring <laughs> tech hiring is something companies get scared of, right? So, how is your outlook of the current market in terms of tech hiring, right? And uh, how how has your experience been in the last three four years since India has been on this sort of big tech uh, or software dev boom? I think technology has also been imbibed a lot by the companies in terms of the way they're using tools right now for either assessments or kind of interviews. Uh, you don't need to be like physically present. The last two years have really taught us that you can do everything online, right? Be it be interviewing to selection, to onboarding, to everything that you have to do, right? So I think so technology certainly has helped in this whole last three years a lot. So that's a yep. little, yeah. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. We've been fortunate to be at the right time, right place, yeah, uh, right market, 
right uh, the gap kept widening and in front of her eyes that there's so much demand there's so much supply and uh, yep so that is absolutely true so uh, taking it from there vijay so when you when you're looking to hire freshers right now coming in from tier 2 tier 3 colleges as well because tier 1 talent is getting absorbed very very quickly and uh, the demand is such is so big that you have to go out looking for uh, talent at other places also and uh, when we talk about uh, hiring freshers into these tech roles how do you evaluate them and what would be that ideal hire for you right in terms of uh, 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 hiring a fresh candidate into the software dev role in fact you know i would also touch upon the fact that i've had an exposure an experience working and hiring from tier 1 and tier 2 colleges also and and nothing mm-hmm. against them i think they they produce a fabulous kind of talent right but i think with the fact that now the industry is moving so fast right and especially the whole startup world where the need is for someone to come on move faster deliver and able to kind of you know add value right i think there's 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 a shortfall there right and the shortfall is the fact is that while academically there's an amazing academics happening in those colleges but still i see a gap in being doing practical exposure there is still a gap right so i think what typically is happening right now and and what we would look at is a couple of things right one how much practical experience that somebody carries you know has he or she you know kind of done a lot of practice of the coding right and and able to understand those nuances had as somebody mentoring them in terms of what the industry needs or not right so that's really important right that's a more relevance to the job right now second i think there are very softer aspects right which is about you know the whole attitude to i, I would say be resilient you know mm-hmm. the whole grit right uh, somebody who's a problem solver right so you know doesn't needs to kind of have everything known to him but somebody comes up with an approach of problem solving right you know has 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 a huge ability to kind of think through i think those are paramount qualities and i think the last but not the least the ability to learn right so i think those are couple of basic high level things that uh, you know not just me but i think a lot of companies are now looking at you know especially mm-hmm. the fresher right I hope that yep. answers the question. Yep, that that does really well. Actually, that was really well put, and it resonates so much with me as well. Because when I talk to my students, I generally tell them that you're getting, you're not going to get hired just because you know code, right? You're getting hired to solve problems. So generate that curiosity to understand the problem at a larger level, and then deep dive to figure out how you can solve it, right? It is, it is never going to be like you're already. knowing the solution to all of the problems right if you were so smart then you would have be at a different place altogether so uh, uh, so absolutely i think that's really well put uh, so uh, vijay would want to deep dive a little bit more here to the specifics right so when you're looking uh, and hiring from like you've hired a lot of students from acio job recently and would want to understand how is your experience been hiring from acio job and uh, what is it that you find better off as compared to a typical college hire if you make out of uh, a, a tier 2 tier 3 tier 1 college as well i think I, my my uh, my my thinking has skewed a huge need to now not going to campuses versus going to vishu probably right you wanted people who would you know at least no core java you know would have done something concrete right and you would struggle in colleges and we hired a lot of people from college and trust me we, we we had some success but it wasn't right uh, and i think that's where probably i feel that you know companies like you are adding a huge value because i think you you now you understand what the industry needs right and you you kind of closing that gap by really imparting that kind of you know i would say experience right and an exposure to them and helping them to hone those skills that are necessary for them to be successful you know right now when you're looking at organization right you know the speed with which every organization has to run you know to be there right or able to create an impact to their customers for example right is is the expectation is huge right they really want to yep. create that difference sooner faster else somebody else is going to make the difference to you right so you certainly need Absolutely. people who you can certainly train in in whatever the environment of a company is but you need those basics to be there And I think that's where I had an amazing experience, right? Yeah, yeah. got it. 
got it that's great thanks vijay thanks for that uh, one more question like this is from this is more to make my students get a better perspective from you actually right because i uh like i i am a little biased and i tell them that go for in office opportunities don't look for work from home and remote jobs only there's so much more to learn right because it's not just that you're getting a piece of work which you will be doing it's more about the senior people you will meet there the peers you will have the interactions the meta discussions probably not even related to your field but just a a chai break where you have a meta discussion with someone and you end up learning uh, something absolutely new which you wouldn't ever encounter right so i keep giving all these suggestions to my students uh, but would love to hear from you that uh, uh, for freshers what do you think is an in office role much more better suited is remote opportunity something they could they should look for uh, what's your take on it so i think you know there are pros and cons and i think we lived in this life but to me i think as you as, as typically somebody starting the exposure the, the 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 touch and feel of being where you are far more outplays when you are in remote okay and i think that's where probably it'll it'll be far far more helpful to any fresher when they start their career to look at something where they can touch feel and see things right and the magic happens in the office right you can move faster you can you can you can really have those like vibes from the people right you can understand what's working what's not working and you know kind of you know break those silos right which unfortunately i think we've been all dealing with the last two years where everybody is on zoom calls and just trying to figure out what somebody said did he mean this or <laughs> was it something else right <laughs> or, or, I mean, how do i even break the ice i don't i can't be or a tea or you know after you know have a party with the guys right obviously those were constraints but right now i think given we have an opportunity we should use this opportunity and it will certainly help people to move much faster and be far more effective yep so i think one more question which i had uh, so for this is for the upcoming students who are going to be applying for uh, reso very soon sure. right so uh, when they watch this video what do they expect in terms of the kind of projects they will be doing and the kind yeah. of experience they are looking at if you love to be part of an organization uh where you get a kick from solving a problem and 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 being a part of where there is a chaos and clearing that chaos to come up to a solution and end of the day able to wow the customer and create a difference in the lives of the customer you know you know this is an opportunity <laughs> we are as chaotic as as any startup is right we are unorganized as any startup is right but we are moving towards creating you know better version every time that we move to the next level right and in that journey there's a huge opportunity for somebody to come in and pick up whatever he can pick up to make things happen right and again i'm i don't have anything against large organizations i've been in large organizations but there's a structure you get boxed in a structure and you have to play everything within that structure right but as you're starting your journey you want to really experiment you want to explore right you want to see a lot beyond and and also kind of figure out where your capability lies what would you love to do really what would be something that you can't do something probably right i think that's where a company like rezo helps you to give that exposure right so there's a huge opportunity for somebody to come and be a part of the journey and then when you go back and reflect that hey you know what i was a part of this company which was like tiny and now it's like spread across different regions you get that feeling of being able to contribute and achieve in your life and also learn a lot right yeah thank you thank you so much thank you so much vijay yep yeah, absolutely i think it's 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 also so much credit to all the people who have been around us right who've been there to advise there to stand and there to sort of uh, help us get out of our mistakes which we keep making and a lot of the credit to the students who've been ambitious and hard working themselves right to be able to seize the opportunity uh, actually work hard with us and uh, uh, get into great uh, uh, organizations to start their career as well right so so yep absolutely thank you thank you so much vijay for uh, for this interaction and your time yeah pleasure all man guys and thank you so much for your time have a lovely evening and uh, yeah. you know, we'll speak soon wo that was a great conversation which we had with vijay really insightful I hope you found that insightful as well. For more such insightful conversations and videos, do like, share and subscribe the Akio Job YouTube channel. Also do comment out and tell us if you would want more industry leaders to come in and share their experience working with Akio Job hiring Akio Job students and what essentially do they look for when they are hiring talent for their own organizations. 
See you soon.